It's another edition of Straight Talk with Risa and Edwina. Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you for being with us. Hi. Hi. Today Hello. we're talking about fatherhood and Father's Day. I want to know, um, you guys always know, the origins of fatherhood. Do tell. The first intimations of Father's Day in the United States took place in 1908 in West Virginia when uh, they were trying to honor 362 men who passed away in a coal mining explosion. And after that, in 1910 in Spokane, Washington, um, Sonora Smart Dodd actually went to great lengths to try to organize a day to honor fathers uh, because she was inspired by her own father who was a single father, a Civil War veteran, and he raised six children alone. So it wasn't until uh, 1924, however, until President Calvin Coolidge signed uh, or formally recognized Father's Day that the United States really started celebrating it. That's great. Thank you for the history lesson. Um, and now, Edwina, I know you got statistics. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, some of the stats on Father's Day right here in the United States? Absolutely. So according to our U.S. Census Bureau, six out of 10 men um, are actually fathers. And so you're talking about 75 million men altogether in the United States um, who are either biological, uh, stepfathers or adopted fathers of children. And actually in our states alone, and of course this number is always increasing, about 16.1% of single households in the United States are also run and led by fathers. Um, statistically also, they also show that regarding single fathers that are out there who are taking care of the kids and the family, 44% are actually divorced, 33% are never married, 19% are separated, and 4.2% are also widowed. Wow, those are some crazy stats. Um, yeah, quite a few fathers out there. I myself am a father. I have a father, of course, and I have a stepfather too. So uh, I, I, I guess I join in on those stats. Okay, uh, I have a funny question, uh, Risa. How is fatherhood reciprocally beneficial? Ah, oh, good question. Um, you know, the current research uh, repeatedly identifies how beneficial it is for children to have their father being present and active in their lives. Uh, not only do we see children perform better academically, um, but we also see uh, decrease or less substance use, less teenage pregnancy, less uh, behavioral issues, less mental health issues in children when uh, fathers are present and active. And on the flip side of that, having children really reshapes a man's life um, in positive and unplanned ways. And I, I would say arguably compels him to be a better person. Um, children often become a father's motivation uh, to be a positive role model and um, to live a value laden life, knowing that their children are going to inevitably glean from what they do and, and follow their examples. I wanna know, because we all teach our kids uh, differently we have different beliefs but there are some universal traits can you tell me maybe some of those that uh, you might know about absolutely john you know when you think about fathers there's really two primary goals and primary traits that fathers have and things that they try to instill in their children and one is to really protect the children and their families and the other is to provide and so when you think of them raising their children they're really teaching their children how to be protectors and how to be providers one day to their own families um, and so aside from that some traits that fathers oftentimes try to really instill into their children are you know being hard workers uh, really learning how to be functionally independent and as well as being able to be responsible grown adults uh, in society and so father's roles are so important in a children's life you know it's something you really cannot do without and the other things i want to preface and kind of add into that is that fathers also use um use logic to teach the children how to problem solve in the world and they also help to instill spiritual and financial values to their children they're really the strength and emotional strength and physical strength of their children yeah and that's why we should celebrate really hard on father's day yes <laughs> absolutely absolutely i'm yeah, a little absolutely. biased uh, if somebody wants to talk a little bit further about fatherhood, Father's Day, or any other type of subject that may be either bothering them or on their mind, how do they get in touch with you guys? Uh, well, they can uh, contact us at 808-375-7712 or www.hookollc.com. Another straight talk with Risa and Edwina about the strength of fathers. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> You're Happy welcome. Father's Day. Thank you. Happy Father's Day.
It's definitely a day we have to celebrate more and harder. <laughs> no bias at all there. No, but it is important. No, none at all. Of course. Um, uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful. They, they have the history of stuff like that. And so it's so great. And then, of course, if you need any kind of uh, assistance or any kind of help um, mm -hmm. with a number of different things, they're the they're ones good. to talk to. They're, they're great. All right, we want to keep 